Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Frecky here. It's Sunday, so you know what that means. It's time for another weigh-in. All right, so happy Sunday, everybody. First of all, I want to apologize that I normally would have made my bed, but Miss Selena over there, right there, right there, she is uh, sleeping, and I couldn't make her move. So... Pardon the mess, and still getting used to the setup here. I kind of need to make my background a little bit more organized if I'm going to be facing this way for a while, which I didn't really fully explain. Um, there was some water leakage, and so my wall on this side is not looking so great. So I had to keep my bed away from it because it was kind of causing some issues. So I put my desk here so that it's a little bit further away from the wall and not push up against it until we can get all of this situation fixed. So for now, I'm over facing this way, which, I mean, there's a lot more to see. I mean, if you think my stuff's interesting, I just gotta organize it some, because I'm just looking around, and, like, I mean, all my figures here, like, I'm, anyway, anyway, focus. I, uh, yeah, that's what's going on with my room right now. But anyway, <clears throat> how is everybody else doing? How did your weigh-in go this week? If you're doing a weekly weigh-in or weight loss journey, like I'd love to hear how yours is going. I talk about mine all every week, and I'd like to see how everyone else is doing. Um, if you guys remember, I had made some goals for myself last week because last week I actually gained a pound. And, um, well, 1.6 pounds to be exact. So I wasn't really happy with that, but I noticed some things and so uh, my goal this week was to work on those things. So how did I do on that? Well, drink more water, check. That uh, that one's easier for me. So I mean, I, I fill this sucker up all day long with water. And it actually has some caffeinated mayo drops in it right now because uh, I need some caffeine. And so that, so that one was a check. So pay attention to sodium, check. I didn't pay a hundred percent attention but the foods that i know that are really high i just straight up avoided and so i did good on that eat my points this one is hard i was talking to lisa from over at uh from dumpy to diva and we both have the same issue which guys keep in mind like at my size i still get 71 points even with the new way in this week um which i haven't shown you yet but i'll show you in a second but um i get 71 and so I have a lot of issues like, let's look at Friday. I had, tw no, I ate something I didn't track. So 22 minus eight, whatever that is. Um, Thursday, I had eight points left. Wednesday, I did great. I had 1.4 uh, points left, which guess what? That was the day that I went to McDonald's. Tuesday, 11 points left. Monday, 11 points left. Last Sunday, I, not that, yeah, I used my weekly, so like I used all that. But so it is really hard to eat all of my points. Hold on, I'm gonna scoot this sucker over because that's like right in my eyeball. Um, but yeah, so it's really, really hard when you have 71 points to eat them all, or bites. Sorry, I, I'll eventually maybe use the right word. But so, you know, especially me, I know typically I'm more hungry in the evening. So I like to save points for the evening. And then, you know, evening time comes and I make something like say last night, I'm like, all right, I want to get closer to my points. So I've been on this kick where I've been making this kind of like taco stir fry thing. I mean, it's basically ground turkey. I cut up some peppers. I cut up some onion. I use taco seasoning, low sodium kind. And that's it. Maybe I'll throw in some ketchup and like bake it, or sometimes I just do that. So, and for a pound of uh, turkey breast, it's what? Uh, for a pound, it's 15.6 pounds. So I was like, all right, cool. Um, I need more points because it was, it was, you know, I got off work, it was five o'clock. I need something higher in points because I am going to not be able to eat two more meals, I don't think. So I grabbed the 93% lean ground beef. That's 16 points. So instead of, what what did I just say? Instead of 15.6, the ground beef is 16. Didn't get a lot of points. And the thing about that one was, the ground beef is so much more filling. Normally I'll eat the whole pound and everything in one go and, you know, 
be okay. But I did not finish it. So instead, what I thought was going to be better because it was – oh, and I added some barbecue sauce. I, there was this brand uh, – what is it? G. Hughes. It's a local brand, I believe. But it like for a cup of it, it's 0.9 points. So the whole thing would have been 18.4 points and I couldn't finish it, which is a great problem to have. I mean, I, I feel ridiculous complaining about it because normally I've always been the type that I can finish anything. But when it's, you know, by that point, six or seven o'clock at night, I need to be, you know, having my points. And I didn't. I didn't have not have all of them. So anyway, so I left the day yesterday with 30 points left. Um, wait, no, 20. Because I did go ahead and I um, somebody in one in the iTracks Bites group uh, posted a picture of tortellini soup. I think it was tortellini, and said that oh these are two points. So I grabbed a couple cans of those. Well, I grabbed the wrong one. Like the one I wanted says light right here. This one is not. So this sucker was 10 points. So like later in the evening, I was like, all right, cool. Just get some more points in there. 10 more points. And so, yeah, so I left the day with 20 points yesterday. So I'm not doing great on that. It is it is really complicated to do it all day, especially since I'm such a, you know, fly by the seat of my pants guy. I don't. It's not easy for me to plan my whole day. It's like, all right, what do I want now? Cool. OK, how many points? Da, da, da. I kind of have a, a general like I like to keep my breakfast like. 20 ish and then you know go on from there but maybe i need to up the breakfast i don't know but yeah so anyway so that part not doing so great but at the same time i don't feel that if i'm not hungry i don't want to eat all my points i know it can slow down the weight loss but i mean what am i going to go do go grab a snickers like i don't need to be putting bad stuff in my body that's the hard part is you know when you have this many points and you're cooking healthier foods you know, they, they, they don't get you as far. They'll be great for when I only have, you know, 40 points. But for now, it's tricky. All right, and the other thing was get more sleep. Oops. I can't, I've been having issues the last couple weeks since I rearranged my room. I think it's just because my body's adjusting to the new whatever because the, my angle and everything is different because my bed was this way, now it's this way. So my whole equilibrium is all sorts of wonky. Um... I had another night this week where I was up to like 3.30 in the morning and then got up at 6.30 or 7. So not doing so well on that. So my goals are going to stay the same for this week. Drink more water, pay attention to sodium, get more sleep, and eat my points. Uh, I was watching um, Let's Get Fit with Sandy and she was talking like this week at her Weight Watchers meeting. It was about sleep. So she threw out some tips out there for helping you getting more sleep and creating habits to make you wind down. It's just tricky with my work schedule because, you know, some days I don't get home from work until nine. Some days I'm, you know, home by four or five. So it's tricky, but I'm going to be working on it. All right. So now with that, I'm sure y'all are curious what my way in this week is. And here we go. So as you all know, my starting weight was 376.8, and today it's 352.2. So I lost 3.2 pounds this week for a total loss of 24.6. So that 1.6 pounds I gained last week, I'm really thinking it was sodium, so maybe I lost like a pound or two, or a pound and a half, whatever, and then I lost another pound and a half this week is what I'm thinking. But I'll take a 3.2 loss. I'm, I'm cool with that. that. That makes me very, very happy. And my uh, mini goal and Dragon Con goal. So Dragon Con. My goal is to get down to 300, or 263. So now I only have 89.2 more pounds to goal. go. I can't talk. It's, it's, it's early. It's honestly not that early. I'm just using that as an excuse. Anyway, mini goal. So my current weight, 352.2. My goal is to get to 336.8. And if you don't remember that, that will be 40 pounds lost for me. So I only have 15.4 more pounds to go until I meet that goal. So I'm super happy about that. So overall, despite me not getting all of my, um, all of my goals for the week done, I'm really happy that I, I lost and I'm working on it. I'm still learning about what works for me because, like, as I said, normally I would be a person that would eat late at night. So I would say points for that. Lately, I don't eat super late at night. So maybe, sorry, uh, Goldie's trying to say hi. 
Oh, there she is. Um, but, uh, so I haven't been eating late at night. So like I eat in the evening for sure, but not like, you know, normally, you know, I would save myself so that I have, you know, the 10 o'clock snack and whatever else. But like yesterday, like I said, it was six or seven when I, when I ate dinner and I couldn't finish it and I was full and later, um, it was probably like nine ish just because I was a little bit paranoid. I'm like way in days tomorrow and I'm leaving 30 points left for the day. I can't do that. So I grabbed the soup. Um, but I wasn't hungry. And after that, I was like, all right, like, I feel ridiculous now because that was a little more filling that I needed, but it had 10 points. It's the only thing in my house that had 10 points. Everything else is fruits and vegetables, which are zero points, which still have calories. I'm not complaining because obviously it's working and I'm losing weight, but, uh, I just wonder if I were to fully use all of the points that I'm supposed to and maybe meet that calorie goal, like... When I did Weight Watchers the first time, I did not pay attention to calories. I paid attention to points, and that's it. But, um, yeah, I wonder if, if I would be losing even more if I ate more, which sounds really ridiculous. But I don't know. I mean, the first time I did this, I lost, like, five pounds a week the first few weeks or the first, like, two months. But, or more. I don't even remember how long. But, like, for a while versus, like, one to two pounds. But, yeah. So, I don't know. It's hard. It's tricky. But it's working. I'm happy. I'm working on adding an exercise also. Again, I am going to... I fell off the bandwagon with the 30-day um, beach body challenge. Not going to lie. Totally fell off of it. So uh, I am doing some random cardio here or there. Like, sounds silly, but while I'm watching TV, like, I'll get up and walk for, you know, half the program or something like that. Throw in some jumping jacks or something. Um... Trying to find what I, I like and what I can stick to. Uh, the 30-day challenge, I think it was the pressure of it because there are certain days where with my work schedule and my life schedule, it's kind of hard to get it in even though it's like it's literally not long. Literally takes like 10 minutes or less. But, um, but yeah, so I fell off of that. Um, so I'm going to try to find other stuff that I can just kind of throw in. Now that the weather is cooling off, I'm happy because then I can go outside easier and that makes me so, so happy. Like today, it's what? It is 66, degree, the 66 degrees right now. Um, it's going to get up to 77. And today is also the Festival of Nations here, which is literally across the street. Well, not across here, but you know, down the block, whatever. It's it's within walking distance um, in, in, a, in our local Tower Grove Park. And so I'm hoping, hoping to go with some friends that with, to that today. I know my roommate and his boyfriend and some of their friends are going. So I can join them uh, and maybe find some other people. But yeah, so that'll be fun. Maybe I'll wear the kilt. I really doubt it because I'm not that confident yet. But yeah, so I'm rambling at this point. So this is where I'm going to end it. So if you have not yet... Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how you're doing. If you're on a journey, I love to hear about it. I love to hear your progress. I love to support you, and I love getting the support from you guys. So please do that, and please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the the little bell. That way you know when I post, because I might be posting a little bit more often. I know I have another collab coming up, I believe, next week. Maybe the week after, but I believe it's next week. But yeah, so do that, and until Tuesday, I will talk to you guys later. Thank <laughs> you.